the Boardman coal plant did pump out between 1.5 and 2 million tons of carbon dioxide a year, all of it invisible. That made it the single biggest point of greenhouse pollution in Oregon. But it's also tiny when you consider worldwide carbon emissions from coal plants in 2018 totaled 10 gigatons. That's 10 billion metric tons. Isn't that just a drop in the ocean? Well, you might think about a drop in the ocean, but the ocean is comprised of drops, right? And so when you think about the entirety of the nation's coal fleet, it's pretty significant to have a, the only coal plant that exists in Oregon to be coming offline. And a coal plant is comprised of tons of coal. Boardman burned a special low sulfur coal to cut down on pollution. The plant went through lots of it, five and a half tons a minute when it was running. Boardman typically had 500,000 tons on the ground waiting to burn. You can see there, especially on the left side of the picture, it's nearly all gone now. The coal was brought in using trains 100 cars long from the Powder River Basin Mines in southeast Montana and northeast Wyoming. When you hold it, it feels surprisingly light, sort of like pieces of burned wood left over in a fireplace. Inside the plant, machines pulverize it into a fine powder. Then it's sprayed into a boiler, it's a big furnace, where it burns and heats water up above. The heated water turns into steam, which spins a turbine that turns a generator and makes electricity. When the plant was running full out, as it was when I toured in 2019, it created enough power for 500,000 homes each moment that it's running. Now that power source is gone. It's a, a big gap to fill, but it is one that we're confident that we can fill, both in terms of the, the near term, the resources that we've got lined up now, and over that longer term as well. PGE will buy extra hydropower over the next five years to replace that lost coal power. It's still working on what happens after that. Boardman is the first but not the last coal plant to close in the West. Over eight years, 12 plants will shut down, taking down enough dependable coal electricity to power 3.8 million homes. Instead, the power companies will rely on renewable resources, which will be good for the environment, but not nearly as dependable. 